How do we get so lucky to find this? Fourth of July weekend, we got the whole lake to ourselves. Are you gonna puke for me eating all that grass? We're dog sitting this weekend. I brought you guys up to the Chippewa National Forest. I brought Mandy's dog Tilly with. We're gonna be dog sitting all weekend long. We're up by North Home, Minnesota on a small little lake, absolute middle of nowhere. No cell service around here. There's no anything really. Closest town's quite a ways away. We've got this whole place to ourselves. That's gonna be all right. I think we're gonna start a fire and hopefully that'll help keep some of these bugs away. Tilly has found herself a hole. She will sit and stare at that hole for the rest of the day. If there's something down there, she's gonna get it. You keep an eye on that for me, okay? <laughs> This is about all the trash I found. Just a bag and a beer bottle. Let me show you around the campsite. We're right on top of a sandy hill. This would make for an awesome tent site. There's a small trail to get on top of this hill. And if you had one of those units with a rooftop tent, this would be a million dollar view. Looks like they have a rope swing here. That would be kind of fun. I don't know if it would hold me now. It doesn't look like it's in the best of shape anymore. I've been putting Tilly inside the camper just to cool off a little bit and get a break from some of the flies out here. Dew point's gotta be high today. Feels like a sauna out here. Camper is parked down below the hill. There's a little walking path to get to it. We got to make sure that that doesn't get away from us. I would not be surprised if we get a thunderstorm tonight. I think I'd be all right with that. The sounds of the rain on the roof actually helped me sleep in the camper. Plus, they drowned out all of those bumps and bangs that come in the middle of the night. Let's go see how Tilly's doing. You guarding the place? Keeping an eye on it? All right. I had the generator turned on for a little bit. I might turn that back on just to pull some of this humidity out of the air. Deer fly. Oh, I hate them. Supper. If you guys are fans of steak like I am, you'll appreciate this. $9.99 a pound. You can't find ribeye for $9.99 anywhere. And this bone's gonna make an awesome treat for Tilly. She's gonna appreciate that. Let's get some salt and pepper on this thing and let it sit for a while.
I think I'm gonna get this tripod put together. I had some people telling me how their Walmart tripods have been holding up really well. Unfortunately, the elastic band in one of these has broke already, but maybe it was my fault. I could have had it too close to the fire. Tilly's definitely been enjoying the water this afternoon and I'm not too far away from jumping in that lake myself. But I think it's time to get some charcoal on the fire. Well, Tilly is officially asleep and uh, we're gonna get the steak going. In the meantime though, I had a friend show up. This could be interesting with Tilly. There was a big beaver swimming in this bay earlier. It'll be back. Beavers can be really territorial, so I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on that. Tilly will absolutely go after a beaver. I'm also thinking, given the chance, she will swipe this steak right off the grill. Let's go see if she's up. I wanna come outside for a bit. Wanna go sit by the fire? Okay, let's go. Stupid flies, huh? Well, the good news is the mosquito season is finally over, but the bad news is, is these deer flies are thick now. I suppose we got another month or so of this and then we'll get some other kind of bug. See how quickly she spotted that squirrel? She goes from like laziest dog ever to 100 miles an hour in a matter of seconds. You gonna get it? At least she'll be occupied for a little while. How 
how much fun have you had today? You had to go swimming, chase chipmunks. This is a dream, huh? I've been watching. I haven't seen that beaver back out here again yet. I'm going to finish tonight off with a little walk. I'm looking forward to a hot shower tonight. I feel disgusting. I've sweat through this shirt probably four times today. Oh, that's the nice thing about having that truck camper. Got a hot water heater, an eight minute shower, an air conditioner. Life is pretty good. Poor Tilly was just getting hammered with mosquitoes and horseflies. This looks awesome. I think we're gonna probably go inside. I don't know if we're gonna be coming back outside tonight. The bugs really ramped up, so we're just gonna have some supper. Well, that sun is setting, so it's gotta be close to nine o'clock. That's good enough for me. I think I'm ready to go inside for the night. This looks awesome. It's time to cut into it, see what it looks like. Oh my. Well, I'm gonna say that I got this one right. And look at all this. This is gonna be for Tilly, but I think she can have it tomorrow. I think third time is a charm because of this tomahawk, perfect. Mandy was at Walmart and she saw this shirt for four bucks and she was like, you have to wear that when you're out camping. Oh, she'll be happy to see it. Guys ever have that where it just feels too hot out to even eat? This is really, really good. It'll be good again tomorrow. You know that feeling when you're like excited to go to bed? That's how I feel right now. Got Tilly's bone ready. Just gotta do dishes quick. Then I think I'm gonna turn a movie on. I washed my sheets this week, so it makes me even more excited to go to bed. in the morning. thinking there's got to be a couple of bass in there. Looks like Tilly's trying to do a little fishing this morning already. Anything biting this morning? I had a few tips to use lighter colored clothing to deal with the horse flies. So we'll see how it works. I picked this up at Swanson's. It's a bait and tackle shop in Hackensack. Maybe it'll be my lucky shirt. A lot of weeds to cast around. You better not. Hannah, Tilly, I mean, come on. Leave that bobber alone. I can tell you right now, if I do catch a fish, Tilly's gonna go absolutely bananas. Silly, those are lily pads. Best fishing partner ever. 
Well, I think the only thing that we proved is uh, there's no fish in this lake. Until he told me there was nothing in there and I should have listened to her. You win some, you lose some. There's no I'm gonna bet that there's a way that I can repair that broken elastic band. I think it's a really good concept. I probably just got too close to the fire. It's a bummer that I have to go to work tomorrow. It'd have been nice to have four days off in a row, but it will be nice to have Tuesday off. I mean, I can mow the lawn or find something to do. I think I'm ready for another pot of coffee and a nap in the hammock. I think today is definitely the nicer of the two days. There's a little bit of a wind, which is doing a really good job of keeping the deer flies away. Given the opportunity, I would definitely stay here another night. If you're ever curious about any of the places that I visit, you can definitely send me an email. I don't put the GPS coordinates to these places online, but I'll share them. I have no problem with that. Seems like once a month I'll have someone comment that I'm being selfish for not putting these spots online and that they're wasting their time watching my videos. Oh well. We definitely left this place better than we found it. And if you're interested in coming to this spot, then just be aware that you're gonna need a tent or a truck camper with jacks. You ready to go home? Can you get up there? Come on. Come on, I'll help. Well, we got a 130 pound Rottweiler in the truck. That can only mean we got this video in the bag. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me and Tilly all weekend long. We'll do this again next Tuesday. Until then, be kind, be honest. We'll see you down the road. You're mad at me because of that comment? I didn't say you were fat, I said you were healthy. Yeah, you go ahead and take a nap on it.